Hi, this is Matthew. Uh, this is uh, Prophetic Evangelism Made Simple. And this chapter of this title is called The Prophetic Word. So you've uh, got the gift of prophecy. You've had experience uh, prophesying over people in your church. Uh, you're coming out to do prophetic words with strangers. So how do we go about it? Of course, I've explained how to identify uh, the person in the crowd, that uh, their light there's a light that's shining brightly on their face. Uh, they're standing out from other people. You've uh, asked the Lord, uh, is that a person you want to give a prophetic word to? And the Lord has said yes and told you part, a part of the word that he wants you to give. So it's now it's time to approach a stranger. You are... Uh, get some love in your heart and you overcome the fear in your heart and then you approach the stranger. These are the first words I say uh, to a stranger and these words were given to me by the Holy Spirit so I suggest that you use these or words like these. I go up to a stranger, a lot of the times they're talking to a friend, I go up and get their attention and I'd say, excuse me, and they look at you, um, excuse me, I've got a gift and from time to time that gift allows me to get a message for a person. Today I've got a message for you. Uh, I don't ask permission whether I can share the prophetic word. Uh, I used to ask permission and that's a nice thing to do. It's just that um, people uh, haven't got the mental ability and the spiritual ability to decide on getting a prophetic word for themselves. If God has given you a prophetic word for them, uh, they're meant to hear it. And so uh, giving them an option to hear it um, allows a negative spirit in them to say no. So I just launch into the prophetic word. So uh, the first thing I do most of the time is I launch into a prophetic word with a word of knowledge. Uh, this would be something like uh, you're a person who has got this tremendous ability to care and uh, this uh, ability to care, uh, these emotions run really deep. Uh, for instance, if uh, you've seen a documentary on TV about um, uh, people in Africa starving young children with swollen bellies, it's the sort of thing that uh, is t so sensitive and so emotional to you that you turn the television off. Uh, you, you cannot handle uh, watching emotional things or things that uh, you care deeply about without having the opportunity to help uh, those people so things affect you really deeply. Uh, you've got um, a, an ability to give. Uh, you've uh, got this special ability to uh, have the motivation to give to others. You're very uh, confident and uh, very aware of uh, people's uh, needs and uh, from time to time when people approach you on the street uh, you'll silently give to others. You don't make a big deal about it, but you're a person who uh, is uh, very confident and very willing to give to people who are less fortunate than you. Um, you're the person to approach. Uh, if a friend needs $20 to loan or $20 uh, to pay the rest of a bill they can't afford, you're the person that um, people approach uh, for, the, uh, for money that they need. So if you've launched into a prophetic word like that, the person is very aware that uh, you're getting information from God and uh, they're, they're very aware that uh, if it's not coming from God, that it's coming from some supernatural uh, place. Now, when you've done two uh, words of knowledge like that, information that you wouldn't ordinarily know about the person, um, the prophetic tap, I like to call it a tap, you, you switch on this tap uh, by speaking and then you just let the tap flow. You, you uh, continue to speak according to what the Holy Spirit gives you. You just uh, let the tap flow. You can see in their eyes that they're interested. You can see from their mannerisms uh, that they're paying attention to you. If you see them getting a bit uncomfortable, um, shifting a little bit, or uh, you can sense uh, people uh, sort of saying, yeah, radio mate, thanks for that, um, I, I need to go now. Uh, you can sense that, and they may even say that, thanks a lot. 
um, in the middle of what you're saying. If they say thanks a lot, um, thank them for your time. Tell them that uh, God sent you to uh, give them the message and um, that you'll pray for them, uh, that the message comes true. When you've given a number of prophetic words, uh, you'll get experience in this, but uh, when you've delivered words of knowledge, uh, two or three words of knowledge to the person, you have their full attention. This is the time where you can move into uh, words of wisdom, like directional words of God, uh, things that God wants them to do, and giving them advice on, on what, uh, giving them a prophetic word, not, not advice, giving them a prophetic direction on where God wants them to go and what decisions he wants them to make. And it's around this time that you can deliver in the prophecy, which is speaking about their current life at the moment and speaking about um, their life in the future. If you launch into words of wisdom, which are directional words or words about their future straight away without words of knowledge, they don't hold as much weight. Uh, they don't hold as much uh, authority in them because uh, the person has got no idea if you know about them. The person's got no evidence to prove that uh, you're uh, bringing a message direct from God. All they've got is what you're saying and uh, there's no evidence in prophecy in prophecy sometimes or, or in words of wisdom sometimes to prove that it's coming from God. Um, if uh, you get a good response, uh, tell them that uh, God loves them and that's the reason you've uh, given them the prophetic word. They may ask uh, to, to be able to contact you again and by all means give them your mobile phone number or your email address or your web address. If you get a negative response from people, just uh, tell them that uh, it's your gift that allows you to come and share things with people and uh, apologize and say that um, you're, you're sorry that they're upset. Um, if they give you a negative response to your prophetic word and say that that isn't true, ordinarily uh, when someone says uh, my words of knowledge aren't true, I'll question them and ask them what did they understand the words of knowledge to mean and when if they've got the patience they'll explain what they think that you said and you'll find that they didn't understand it properly and you can re-explain it and give it further clarification and most times they'll accept it and they'll say yes that's true. Um, if they're just plainly negative to you, don't worry. Uh, that some people have got demons and some people have got evil spirits and uh, that's just an evil spirit reacting to the anointing that's on your life. So brush that off and don't worry so much about that. Uh, that's uh, par for the course. That's what you get for going out into a spiritual war. Sometimes there'll be ne negative experiences, but... I'd say uh, I only get a negative experience or a negative response, one out of a hundred people. So um, if you get a few of them in a row, that's just Satan trying to shut you down. Don't worry about that. We were out uh, doing prophetic evangelism last week and we had three people we approached that, um, or three words that we had uh, that people didn't want to hear it. Um, or we, we didn't have the opportunity. The first one, we had a word and uh, the guy uh, talked on the phone and then he disappeared into a pub. And we went in to go to the pub and he came out and we gave the prophetic word to. We could have given up on that one, but if God gives you a prophetic word, often he wants you to uh, deliver that word, so it's good to persist. The next person uh, we tried to approach uh, didn't want to talk to us, and the next person we approached with a prophetic word um, couldn't speak English, uh, so we just said we'd pray for him. Um, so it's it's possible to get a prophetic word uh, when, when the person uh, doesn't want to hear it. Uh, you just brush that brush that off and uh, keep on going. Um, I uh, often uh, close a message by saying that uh, I've got uh, I'm a prophet and uh, I've got the gift of prophecy and. God wanted them to know that message. Sometimes I'll ask them uh, what their name is uh, so that I can pray for them. Um, sometimes I ask them, is there anything else they'd like to know? Um, but if you just close it in a, in a nice way and a cordial way, 
uh, it lets them know that uh, you loved, uh, they're loved. Um, you could uh, get business cards made up with your name and your phone number on and just uh, with the word prophetic evangelist on and uh, you could close uh, the um, meetings with these people by giving them a card and saying if they've ever got any questions give me a call. I haven't got cards at the moment but uh, they're on the way, they're getting uh, made up uh, because we're doing um, a specific uh, uh, hour on the streets, uh, me and a, a friend from another church. Uh, so we're doing an hour on the streets each, each week uh, evangelizing people as a purpose, purposeful uh, event every week before church. And so um, we're getting cards made up just so people can follow up. Um, so you need to, uh, at the end of the message, you need to listen to the Holy Spirit see what he's saying, uh, to how to close and how to uh, fix up and uh, what uh, you're saying to a person. Uh, God bless.